petroleum products, rent, transport fares, and several others have increased astronomically. We'll bring you that story again about some public sector workers saying they expect a decent salary package from government when negotiations open following the rise in cost of living. September and the continuous depreciation of the city to its major trading currencies like the dollar and pound sterling. Things could even get worse. In 2021, Salary workers received salary increment of 4% with 7% for 2022. In July this year, an industrial action by organized labor for their conditions of service saw a payment of 15% of their cost of living allowance. But with the continuous hikes in prices of items, coupled with an already existing economic hardship in the country, the salary worker may be at the receiving end. With everything increasing, salaries of workers for 2023 is yet to be determined. I have come to the home of Abu Yakubu, a teacher in the East Gonja municipality who has a wife, three children, and commutes 20 kilometers to school every day from Salaga. So, I'm going to the city. I'm going to school in the city. I'm going to the he tells me life has not been easy with the hikes in prices of items. Every day I commit to school, every day, and I have to buy fuel before going to school. And initially, or before, I used to buy fuel 15 Ghana cities before I go to school. The 50 Ghana CD fuel I bought will send me to school and bring me back. But today is not the same. Today I have to buy fuel 40 Ghana CD before I can, it can send me to school and bring me back to Salaga. He recounts his expenditure in a month. When you do the calculation, you will see that for the five days that I'm going to be in school, I will spend 200 Ghana CD on fuel alone. When you calculate it by four, that is four weeks, one month, it means that I'm spending 800 Ghana CDs on fuel alone. So when you take 800 Ghana CD on fuel alone for my salary, how much is going to remain for me? to spend on my kids, my wife, and my school fees, and my, my kids' school fees, and other things. I spotted some teachers who had gone to buy fuel to school that morning, and they shared their frustrations. Since June, day in day, our things are continuing increasing, but salary doesn't increase. So it made the cost of living very high. We don't even know, we can't even predict, we, by next year, it will be worse. So the government should do something about it. We are suffering. Teachers, we are really suffering. As government prepares to negotiate salary increments for 2023, it is the expectation of these teachers that the leadership of labor union will negotiate well to benefit the salary worker. Christopher Mwako, CV3 News, Salaga.